Welcome to ECPI University's Online Discovery Day. Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm an actual admissions representative here at ECPI University's online campus. I'm really excited to have you here. Why? Well, I'm here to answer some of the most frequently asked questions about ECPI University Online. So, let's get started. The admissions office is where you'll start your journey. We work very hard in admissions to make sure that your enrollment process goes as smooth as possible. So, the first question we normally get is, what are some of the benefits of attending ECPI University Online? I'm gonna give you five of them right now. Number one, accelerated programs, zero to bachelor's in 2.5 years and a master's degree within 16 months. Number two, earn the cutting edge hands-on degree that employers desire, especially in our information technology and engineering programs. Number three, top-notch customer service from advisors like myself that are dedicated to help you achieve your goals. Number four, a career services department that will help you prepare for that new career move or that promotion that you're going after. And number five, ECPI has university accreditation with SACS, the Southern Association for Colleges and Schools, which means we're able to award associates, bachelor's, and master's degrees. We are also very proud of military veteran and active duty students. Our passion to help these brave men and women push us to become the number one best for vets ranked university for 2019 by the Military Times. We're also ranked number five in the number of health profession and related sciences graduates. Also, we are ranked number five again in the number of computer and information and support services graduates. We are ranked number 19 in the number of engineering technologies and engineering related field graduates. Also, ECPI has earned the National Center of Academic Excellence in Cyber Defense Education, known as the CAE CDE, by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, which makes us NSA approved. Plus, ECPI University has made a splash in the fast growing collegiate esports community. The ECPI University Rams have come on the scene and have been doing big things and in the one of the fastest growing areas of all sports. So, Make sure as a student to cheer them on in their next upcoming events. The next question we normally get is, so what programs are offered on ECPI University Online? Well, we have a lot of options. So just to name a few, we offer bachelor's degrees in electronic systems engineering technology, mechatronics, cybersecurity, business administration, criminal justice, and healthcare. That's not to mention our master's degrees in an MBA or cybersecurity, or master's in management. So make sure if you want to see all the programs, visit our website, ecpi.edu forward slash online to see the list of all the degree programs offered through the online campus. One question that we get all the time is, do we have to talk on the phone in order to be enrolled in the program? Well, we know some of you are shy. That's okay because we utilize text and email communications for a large portion of the admissions processes because we realize our students are working adults with busy schedules. Yet, we do require that each student participates in the admissions interview with their advisor. The reason is it's an important step in making sure that the students are fully informed and getting enrolled within the correct program. The financial aid department is here to help you with options to help fund your education. One of the biggest questions we get is, how much does it cost to attend ECPI University Online? The truth is that the cost of our degrees is specific to each program and will also depend on transfer credit, military status, and other variables. Your admissions advisor will definitely go over those details with you during the entrance interview. Another great question we get is, are there any scholarships or grants available to help pay for tuition? The answer is yes. ECPI University students enrolled in any undergraduate bachelor's, associate, or diploma program are auto-enrolled for the graduation scholarship fund. Scholarship amounts vary by degree program and level, but up to $2,500 to help reduce student debt in the final semester may be available to you. 
ECPI also offers the following scholarships. Head Start for nursing programs, military scholarships based on active duty, alumni scholarships for our alumni who wish to go towards a master's degree, educational partnership programs that we have with many companies out there, and of course, Pell Grants and SEOG based on FAFSA eligibility. Some of our students are worried about parents being on the FAFSA. So, do my parents have to be involved in my financial aid? If you are somebody who is a dependent student, parents of a dependent student should be added to the FAFSA to only determine full financial aid eligibility. Parents will also be asked to assist with a potential gap in student funding by attempting for a Parent PLUS loan, which financial aid will discuss with them, the student and the parent during that time. Should I prepare for any out-of-pocket costs? That is a question that we get a lot. So here's the honest answer. Every student situation is different. However, we do encourage our students to make some type of payments while they're in their degree program to help reduce their final debt by the time they get out of the program. It's just a good benefit and a good habit to get into overall when it comes to things in this nature. The registrar and student services departments work tirelessly to make sure your time at ECPI University online goes as smooth as possible. We have students of all types that attend ECPI online, so it makes sense that we have a lot of them who are bringing in transfer credit. So what happens to your transfer credit? Well, there are a number of factors that determine whether or not a course will be eligible for transfer credit to your chosen degree program. Some of the main considerations for transfer credit are course competencies or learning objectives, the data was completed and the grade earned. We can evaluate general education credits, arts and science courses without a time limitation. All other courses outside of arts and sciences must be completed within the 10 year time frame in order to be eligible for transfer to any courses here at ECPI. But what about work experience or education that you earned at a trade school? Can that be transferred and applied as credit to a degree program here at ECPI? Well, we encourage students to submit any records of prior education and training to their admissions advisor for the evaluation of transfer credit. ECPI does not directly accept experiential credit earned through work or non-academic training for transfer academic credit. However, there are some corporations, government and private organizations that have had their education and training evaluated that ECPI may be able to accept. We encourage students to discuss all their prior education and training with their admissions advisor through this enrollment process. Students that have prior education that have completed outside the United States or United States territory are welcome to attend and can submit their prior education for an evaluation to determine whether they have earned credits that are applicable towards their chosen degree program. Another good question we get is, do I get to choose the classes I take and register for when I go through my program. Well, students are automatically registered every five weeks to ensure timely graduation and allow them to focus on their courses and ensure that they have the courses they need in order to complete their program in the recommended sequence. Depending on your program, there may be some flexibility in regard to the elective courses you take. So if there are courses you want to request specifically, we can do our best to fulfill any scheduling requests that you may have. If not, we're happy to take care of the scheduling for you. Another thing a lot of people come to us for is, I was homeschooled in high school. Would that be a problem for admissions? No. ECPI welcomes students from all types of educational backgrounds and encourages homeschool students to apply. Due to the diverse nature of homeschool requirements from state to state, students who attend homeschool will need to submit documents indicating that the homeschool followed the regulations determined by their state and may be required to provide a second academic indicator such as a SAT or ACT score in addition to their transcripts. One question we get a lot, especially for our students who are worried about if their degree is going to show online on their actual degree when, it, when, when they graduate, the answer to that is no. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're an ECPI student, you're an ECPI student. Your diploma itself is not going to say online. It's just going to say ECPI University. So you're, you're good in that regard. Could I take a semester off? Yes. 
Students can take a semester off, but it's important to check with your financial aid advisor and scheduler to ensure you're not impacted financially. It is also important that any time you take off will impact your graduation final date. The last question we get a lot is, do you observe holidays, spring, summer, and winter breaks? What if I want to take two weeks or a month off? Well, each year our students need to view the university calendar, which will provide all student observed holidays and breaks for that year. So plan your schedule accordingly. The academics department here at ECPI University Online is dedicated to providing you the best educational experience possible. I know you have a lot of questions regarding academics, and I want to answer some of the big questions that you may have right now. Questions like, are there any mandatory lectures? No, there are no mandatory synchronous lectures, but we highly recommend that students attend the weekly live lecture and office hour that is going to be run by the faculty member in your course every week. If you happen to miss it, it does get recorded so you can watch later on, but students who attend the live lecture and office hour weekly do have the ability to ask the faculty member questions during those live sessions, which is very important. Another big question we get is, are there any group assignments or is everything completed individually? Well, there are a few courses with group, group assignments, but these are rare and synchronous meetings with your project group are not required. Meetings are done asynchronously via the discussion forum on the course itself. When it comes to tests, how do you take tests in an online program? Well, testing is limited in online courses and usually are a low percentage of your weekly course grade. Courses may have a short quiz at the end of each week or they might have a final exam in the last week of classes, but that is not the standard in all the courses. Course competencies online in many instances are gained by completion of assignments, labs, and project work. Those actually demonstrate your real competency of the course material to meet the course objectives. Do you ever have to come to the campus? Well, you're not required to go to the physical ECPI campus. However, if you live near campus, you're more than welcome to use the campus facilities, such as the computers, the library, the labs, or taking any of the proctored certifications. A big question we always get is, how can online give me the hands-on experience needed in technology programs? That is a great question. Labs are completed through simulation software and also actual physical hands-on components are sent to the student depending on the degree program they are in. Also, when it comes to our master's degree students, do you have to write a thesis if you're in a master's degree, which I know is a big concern for some of our master's students. Well, a thesis is not required in the master's programs. We focus on real world industry scenarios delivered through our project-based assignments. When it comes to the computers that you may use to attend school, just know that the computers that you use is gonna be really based on the type of program that you're trying to get into. Something a little bit more tech heavy might require a computer that requires a little bit more, you know, power along with it, but nothing too crazy. Make sure that you speak with your admissions counselor during the entrance interview and talk about the computer that you can be using for online study. Just know, Computers such as Mac and Chromebooks are really not recommended because if you're using simulation software or you're doing some other type of work, there may be compatibility issues. So uh, that's something to always be uh, on the lookout for and talk to your admissions advisor about options if you are using something like a Chromebook or a Macintosh computer. A number big concern that our students have is, are there any tutors available if they need extra help. How does this work online? Well, tutors are available for all courses by student request at no charge to the student. Students should contact their program director to have a tutor assigned to them. So we will help you out. You're just gonna make sure you take that initiative and reach out to us. How much personalized contact will I have with my instructors? Well, that's a big thing right here. All ECPI faculty members supply their cell phone numbers to the students on the homepage of their courses, so students are able to text and call their faculty members when they need assistance. In addition, faculty members 
have live web sessions via Zoom web software twice a week, a lecture hour and a teaching course content for the week and an office hour where students can receive tutoring, review assignments and share their assignments for faculty review. If a student is unable to attend a set live web session, they are recorded and accessible in the classroom homepage to watch later on. In addition, students can request a web session with their faculty member outside of the set hours for additional support. So we do a lot to help our students. Just make sure you reach out and we'll do what we can to help you. The ECPI University Career Services Department is dedicated to help take your career to the next level. There's always three major questions in regards to career services that we always get. Number one, do you have to wait until you graduate to take advantage of career services? Absolutely not. Active students and alumni equally can reach out to career services. The second question is, will career services help me find a job? What they're really doing is partnering with you to increase your marketability overall. It's not about just finding a job, it's increasing your marketability to land a career. Lastly, what is exactly career services doing to help me? Well, they do a lot of things to be very honest, but to keep things short, they help you build a professional profile. They look at your networking skills, your resume skill, your interview skill, and overall, they try to find leads for you at the same time to increase your overall marketability and options out there when it comes to finding the career of your choice. Everyone at ECPI University Online appreciates that you joined us today, and I truly hope you learned something more about ECPI University through this video. At this time, we invite you to give us a call, send us an email, or shoot us a text so that way we could connect with you today.